Hi everyone and welcome back to the Young G.I. Joe Collector. Today I'm going to be reviewing the G.I. Joe G-Day Salute from 1997. Um, and yeah, sorry for that background noise, that's my fan. Um, and today we're going to be reviewing a very nice G.I. Joe. Um, first in the holiday series, um, the D-Day Salute. And if you've seen my first video, I kind of... Messed that up a little, so I wanted to do just a review that's t um, 8 to 10 minutes long with more detail and everything. Because I think I was I was just tired that day when I did that video. And now I'm all excited and I'm ready to do this review. So, as usual, we'll take a look at the box. So, let's turn this around. We have nice... So, a nice side. Um, another, there's the other side. I like how they did the American flag on there. We have a huge. There is some wear there. We have a huge equipment list. Let's focus on that. Sorry, it's taking a while to focus. I don't know why it's focusing. Sorry. Okay, there. Helmet with netting. Walnut cap, shirts, pants, boots, leggings, jacket, web belt, canteen with holder, um, ammo pouches, mess kit, M1 rifle, bandit with sheath, T handle and trench and tooth cover, tent wire, snips with holder, um, gas mask with holder, haversack, bedroll, dog tags. So this figure is loaded with stuff. Um, and there's the bottom. Okay. And then let's... Take this Velcro here. I'm sorry for that. That's my fan. Um, so we have really nice artwork. Hasbro really put a lot of effort into this figure. And then, since this is so big, I'm going to have to figure out how this is working. Yes! Perfect. The perfect lighting. <laughs> the perfect lighting. I'm so happy about that. Okay. Now, um, nice face sculpt. I don't have any blonde haired head sculpts except on my Mercury, Mercury astronaut. Um, and my US infantry with flamethrower. I don't know where he's at in the archives or someplace. Um, but, um, nice head sculpt again. Really nice. Um,. Let's have a look at all of his equipment, so yeah. And again, sorry for that background noise. Um, first, let's have a look at all the gear the figure has and then all the stuff he has on the side. So he has a walnut cap, which, um, and he has, which is really cool. That's what I meant. Sorry if I mumbled there. We have a nice netted helmet, um, dog tags, undershirt. Um, then you have the big red one shirt. He does have a big red one patch. It's a little hard to see. Um, sorry about that background noise again. Okay, now moving on. We have, I think there's a rubber band somewhere there. Um, there's his wire snips to cut through the barbed wire. And there's this nice M1 rifle with those fresh twist ties there. Trouser, wait, there's his trousers, a.k.a. pants, um, leggings, then shoes. Um, can he has canteen ammo pouch. Um, there, he has tent um, pegs, um, tent roll, another tent roll there, blanket, knife, shovel, gas mask, new allied landings, newspaper, daily tribune. Mess kit with accessories. Um, so much stuff. Gas mask. Bag. And then this figure is loaded. Let's zoom out here. This is going to be a really long re review. This guy is surprisingly not hard to find. This guy, I think, which was also purchased in 1997 when he came out. Which is really cool. Um... I think this guy was purchased, you know, from a store, um, I don't know, Walmart, Target, probably a Toys R Us, um, 
Not hard to find. This guy's probably forty or fifty dollars. He goes for. I've seen him to twenty, up to eighty. I've seen him twenty, thirty, forties. The uh, max I've seen him for. But I have seen him go up to eighty. Most of them are thirty or forty. So I recommend him. You get him if you don't have him already. Um, just really cool. Hasbro put a lot of effort into this G.I. Joe. Um, a lot of effort. Um, and yeah, I just love this guy so much. I just love that head sculpt. Um, there's a, again, just Hasbro put so much effort into, um, this figure. It's one of my favorites. If not my favorite out of the whole classic collection. So, this guy's probably my favorite out of the whole classic collection. Because Hasbro just put a lot of effort. Um, they Look at all the detail. No other G.I. Joe has all this gear. Um, he has everything. Tent pegs, mess kit. He just has everything. I mean, like, this guy could take a whole hour, like two hours to review. But since we don't have the time, it's more like 10 minutes or 8 minutes to reveal. Um, there's his shovel. Let's get some more detail here. He has a bayonet on there there. Rope. Um, another tent. The other tent. This, this guy just comes with a ton. A ton of accessories and everything. I mean, like... Like, they put so much detail, and they have the description over there. And that's my lamp there. Just really nice. And a lot of veterans sacrifice. A lot of people sacrificed their lives on that day, June 1944. June 6, 1944, D-Day. A lot of people died and sacrificed their lives for America, and um, they just and Britain and um, the other Canada and a whole bunch of others. They sacrificed all their lives. It's just really sad, and this is um, in memory of those people. This GI Joe was made for the. In loving memory of those people who sacrificed their lives that day. And yeah, like, and this is like glass here, so you can see my fan reflection. Um, and I'm gonna end this review soon. Um, this this is just a cool figure. So many people sacrificed their life that day. Um, very nice figure, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe, and have a very great day. Bye.